hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to add dynamic status bar in the form view and in case you missed previous discussion about how to add a static selection field status bar in the form view please check link is given in the description if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the home screen you can see odoo 1718 development tutorial right now we are working on this playlist if you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning you can visit this playlist because this is the main playlist and those are the topic wise sub playlist available all right let's back to our main topic guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will help me a lot plus you will get the latest notification about the upcoming sessions let's say i'm going to here in the list view right uh it's too big yeah here you can see this is the status bar right right in the form view but this field is the selection field right you can see here custom add-ons student models model.py and if you scroll down here this wb.school you can see the status right this is the selection bar and right now we have a fixed value new active and the closed right what about let's say user will add some status and based on that status it will update here right so in that case we have to implement our custom model and uh, we have to provide the same list view right and the windows action the menu to add a new statuses by the users and those status automatically display here so how we can do it right we will see in this discussion i hope you understood about the main difference between static status bar and the dynamic status bar right so here uh, first thing is we have to create a new class right our uh, first thing is let me copy this one so we don't need to write too much so status bar something like this school status this is status of school profile status right and this one we have to register under the security or else it won't be work right so like this like this and like this so this user will add have all the access rights right now we have to add here in the school profile let's say the list view here but we have to use school status so for that i have to replace here replace here we have to remove everything only the id and the name rest informations we don't need to use here status like this and simple we can copy this windows action and the menu for this new model right like this now let me copy again the status model we can paste here status like this we can copy this one paste here status status right like this we don't need form you only this one and edit table equal to bottom that's it Uh, sorry let's let's add as a top right and simple we can try to create or oh, let's upgrade the module so for that we can go to here minus u student and guys if you don't know how to configure or do in pycharm like this way please check editor level playlist i already explained everything and simple we can refresh the screen and you can see the new right let's add here the let's say new in progress verification done and let's say started right like this you can see it's order by descending order right so i want to add this one order 
I D D E S no, not not the D E S C but like this okay or like say sequence we can add here fields dot integer the default is the 10 right this sequence we have to update here widget handle we already talked about right in our few sessions back what it is and what is the purpose so i will show you here the main real time example how we can quickly create the records now you can see one two three four like this right now let's say the verification is done we need to add here so we can easily we can do like this now it's time to add this model in this school model right so here let's say status underscore id field fields dot sorry mini to one and let's say that's it status school status okay like this we don't need to define as of now any default value okay uh, simple we have to copy this one we have to display here field name equal to like this and we need to disable this one again we need to disable this one oh sorry this one and simple we can use like this but we can use here status bar let me upgrade the module let me refresh the screen okay and simple i'm going to the school and now you can see status is not available as of now right and once i click here you can see all the status is available here right let's say uh, if i want to add more here let's say status right uh archived like this so simple i will add here or let's say let's say here right let me refresh the screen now you can see here it's available like this way right either you can manage this one in this button right different buttons you can manage the status bar or let's say you can make it as a clickable so for the clickable you can have this option right you can just copy and paste here that's it you can see here refresh the page and here you go archived or let's say in progress or new oh let's say i want to add this one at the last stage right so for that like i can just simple drag and drop here refresh the screen and you can see here boom the new one is here the archive goes to the last right in all the records started and if you see here in the list view you can see that many to one field right so like this way you can add a dynamic status bar in the form view i hope you understood about this whole dynamic concept if you still have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session